days before Christmas. So we'll be traveling in this bus, of course, Lenny. 1947 Silver Sides. Gotta unplug them still. Just put Rain X on the windows. Everything ready to go. Kelly's loading everything up in there. He's pretty sweet. Okay, we're heading out of our subdivision here. We got one stop to make. We're gonna go fill our propane tanks over at Tractor Supply, and then we're gonna go pick up Tyler, and then we're headed to Belpre, Ohio. We're gonna be on the road until right before Christmas. A couple days before Christmas, we should be home. Uh, lots of buses to work on. Uh, we're going to start out over on Sage's bus that's in Belpre, Ohio. That's a Silver Sides like this one. We didn't quite get it done a few weeks ago. And then we're going down to Lance's. There's a 4104 we're going to work on in there. We have a Cracker Box GMC truck we're going to work on. We got a Wonder Lodge. We're going to do a rebuild on an 8V92. Hopefully get a chance to put power steering on my bus while we're on the road, but we'll see. Traffic sucks right now here in our little town of Avon, Indiana. So I just pulled in here to get my propane filled up, went in to pay for it, and I came out and this person parked right there in front of me. Whole giant parking lot open. Park right there. Have you ever wanted to just hit somebody? Picking up Tyler now. Coming yet? What? Dad wanted video of you getting on a bus. Get on the bus. Oh. So I had the idea the other day that maybe for a driver's seat I need to get like a turkey race seat, like an aluminum bucket, with some five points. <laughs> okay, you're there. Back is left, right? Forward is right? Yeah, yes. Okay. Looks Kelly. <laughs> it looks weird seeing my feet. <laughs> you never know, some of your subscribers might like it. Yeah. I don't ride in this seat very often. <laughs>
came down here the last time of restored ones of those. So we arrived here yesterday late afternoon, uh, right, right around sunset, to Belpre, Ohio. And we'll be working on this other silver side. This is the pre-war version of silver sides. We were out here a couple weeks ago. Got it running. Uh, had a few issues that we had to work through. Took a little longer than we thought. But we're ready to go now on it. We should get it finished up here in the next couple of days. Uh, today we're going to work on the cooling system going back in, radiator, hoses, all that kind of stuff. We replaced all the fuel lines, air lines, wheels, wheel seals. Uh, we got some brake work we're going to do and a few other things. So we're getting ready to tear into it here this morning and hopefully, hopefully get it running again later this afternoon. Okay, so we're working on the bus here, touring into it. Tyler is going to replace these belts. We didn't have new belts last week, but we are a couple weeks ago. But we now have new belts, so we're going to put new belts on. Instead, I had a set of old, used one to put on there. So we're changing the belts on there. Uh, Sage is over there working on getting off that little radiator flange. He just broke a bolt, and he says that gonna be a problem. I said only a problem to the budget. <laughs> I don't think he appreciated that. <laughs> <laughs> So we're getting there, radiator's going back together, and uh, I'm gonna go grab it and drag it around here in the next hour or so we should have coolant in this thing. Hey, come here. Hold on. You tighten this. So we're removing these rubber vibration dampener couplings. Um, so we're getting them off, we're gonna clean this up. This is aluminum, and then we're adding hoses and hose clamps instead of these, because they were in such bad shape. Mentioned. We got the radiator in today. Uh, Tyler had to fab a little bracket and weld it in on the other side for the other mount for the radiator. Um, but we're getting getting things closer. We're working on the flanges down there still. Uh, our solution to get them home with an air filter, we got that. That's how Mark Runner did his bus, so that actually worked out real well. Saved us some time. The fuel system's going back together. We had to do a little work on the fuel system over here. We got the drive shaft all in and hooked up. So that's all done. We got a couple bolts we gotta to add to the uh, the brake on there still. Uh, we've added air to the air system. We now have an air system that's holding air. Air brakes are working. They're not losing any air pressure when you hold down the brake treadle. Uh, but we now, after doing that a few times, the quick release valve in the back is leaking air all the time. It's probably just got a piece of debris in it. So we're gonna take it off tomorrow, clean it out. Probably got something stuck in the O-ring, that's my guess. Um, these wheels are just sitting on there. They're not bolted on or torqued on yet. Um, so we're, we're getting there. We made a lot of progress. I saw a lot of little things today. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we're gonna finish the oil change on it. We'll get the other coolant lines hooked back up, coolant in it. The fuel filter, we were missing the O-ring that goes to this. He just got this, so we gotta get that. Uh, that that's a can the canister kind. Um, but yeah, everything's going well. I had a little issue with my bus today. Um, Tyler noticed water coming out of one of the bays and it turned out the gray tank, the four inch blade valve on it, uh, it cut it, uh, it, 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 I don't know if it happened when it froze, but it was broken and the whole thing actually came off. But luckily I had just drained gray before we got here. Um, so there wasn't really much in there, but you know, maybe two or three gallons of gray water. Thank God it wasn't the black. So I got a, a we got a big piece of four inch hose, cut it and got it mounted on there. and. Uh, that, that should have solved my gray tank problem now.